Check this place out. All screen. The top and the size. Check that out. And it's all the way to the back. All like this. I remember the days when buying a, a small TV was very expensive. Anyway, I just arrived in Chongqing. I'm heading now to my hotel. That's my room. Right in my hotel and at the Nicolò Hotel in Chongqing. This camera is shaking all over because I forgot the tripod. So I have no tripod, I have to improvise. I just put it on a lamp. Now I move it to a box. I'll let you see that because that would be very interesting how to improvise when you have no tripod. Because I forgot it. I'll take a picture, show you right there. So first on this lamp, then in this box. And now, yeah, I'm improvising. I also like to use Lavalier, which I forgot. So I have a shotgun now. It's in Saramonic SRM3 on my M50. And yeah, today I'm gonna be doing one more video about the, the speed booster. Let's put this a little bit back. There we go. So I'm gonna be talking yet again about this little adapter that is pure magic. Hmm. Uh, what is pure magic? Well, the, the first reason is you can use full front lenses with almost the same field of view as a full front lens. Basically, if I mount this with a different adapter, like the like the one, uh, I don't get the full front field of view. But uh, anyway, I already talked about that in my previous videos. What I'm actually talking about this time is uh, many people ask me how does it perform for pictures. So I've been testing it mostly for video, just because I do shoot a lot of videos. But this time I tested softly. Um, and when it comes just to photography. So the first thing I did is I put it to a test chart. This is the result. First I tested with the 16 millimeter, uh, 16 to 35 millimeter f2.8, which in this case I tested at f2 because it's open all the way up to f2, making more light. Um, you can see the results, pretty good. Actually, you can compare against the Canon 5D Mark II with the same lens. So it's an actual full frame camera versus a Canon M50 adapted with this um, adapter on the Biltrock EF EOS M Mark II. And you can see there isn't much difference on sharpness, to be honest. Um, you don't really drop into image quality that much, I think, that, if any. Something that I noticed, it actually, it might even improve some of the image quality to a certain degree. And it's interesting to see, here is the thing the camera doesn't quite recognize which lens is you're mounting on it. So you can activate the profile corrections, in-camera corrections. So while the Canon 5D does, that is automatically correct the, the, like, the vignette and stuff like that. So that could have influence uh, a little bit. Another thing is um, because it's not actually full frame with adapter, it's more like a 1.2 crop while in full frame is actually one, it's full frame. So you need to, uh, when I was doing the test chart, when I test shoot first with the 5D, I shoot and then with the M50 to get the same framing, I need to walk back a little bit, like maybe half step, really not that much, because it's not that much of a difference. Uh, but for ultra wide angle photography, that might be a concern for you. Um, and then you can see another uh, interesting scene is that there is even less vignetting with adapter. That's something that really surprised me, especially with an ultra wide angle lens. And, and as soon as you stop down, uh, you get a lot of sharpness, you get no vignetting, you lose a little bit of um, Philos view, because like I said, it's not really full frame, so a 16 behave more like a 18 or something like that. Um, anyway, you can always do the calculations, so 16, multiply 1.6, multiply 0 0.71, and then you get exactly how much that is. But you can do that with any uh, focal length, basically. You can do that uh, mathematical operation. Um, I tested out also with the 50 millimeter f1.2. I wanted to check what actually happened when you shoot in an f1.2. And to be honest, yeah, it's also pretty good. And I compare here with the 5D Mark II. Like I say, it's not full frames, crop, 1.2 crop, but uh, it's pretty good, it's pretty sharp, 
uh, like I say, there is less vignetting even when it's wide open and when you shoot at f1.8 um, you get very similar image quality, very similar. I noticed that the 5D Mark II and the Canon M50, even though they're both Canon, colors are different and I see they're not being affected by the, by the adapter, it's just something that I noticed long ago. So you notice a little bit of difference on the way they expose the colors, the white balance, well that has nothing to do with the adapter. So, but you probably want to know now, like, okay, that's a test chart, how does it actually perform when you're taking pictures? So I did a whole photo shoot for a friend, actually John is my cameraman, he's always on the channel, and he's also a model, and he needed to update his profile pictures. So we did something, we just improvised, we went to a shopping mall, walk around, um, later we end up in, in our restaurant having some drinks, and we just shoot as we were walking. Uh, the whole photo shoot was like 80 minutes. I will put all my pictures on my Instagram. I will make like like people so visit my Instagram. You can check in the description down below um, or in the comments. I will make sure that you can access my Instagram so you can see all the pictures. But here are some samples so you can see how this adapter work and is it really works. It. In my opinion, it does. Uh, something that I notice is when you are wide open. Uh, so when you go to f 1.2. I think there is a tiny little bit more chromatic aberration. It's not like there is a lot to begin with, but yeah, there might be a little bit more. Um, vignetting I found out to be maybe even less than when you shoot in full frame. That's because it's not really full frame. It's, it's, it's actually like 1.2 crop. So that probably is the, the, the reason why there is not so much vignetting as there is in full frame. And then, um, the other thing that I notice is, um, yeah, it gives you extra light. So I'm not sure about extra bokeh, but it definitely gives you extra light. So there were some people that comment on some of my previous videos about this adapter saying that it doesn't give you extra bokeh. So that could be like a psychological thing that I have, like f1.2 I shoot and see the beautiful bokeh and uh, probably it's the same bokeh as the Canon 5D Mark II full frame at f1.8. So it doesn't affect that much the bokeh, I guess but it does affect the amount of light that hit the, the sensor. So you can shoot in low light using lower ISOs. Um, well, you can look at the samples and just by yourself. I see if I can take some pictures around here in Chinching. Well, I'm staying here for just two days actually. And I'll put it here at the end of this video. Enjoy the samples. And if you like this video, don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe, especially subscribe. That will help me a lot if you do. This is Gabby from Ray Studios. Till next time.